Hello, and thank you for joining us for the block 11 of the Rock the Casbah collection. As you can see, this is one of our larger blocks, which means we have repeated the pattern four times over and joined it together to make a single block. What I love about this one is it is only one color of applique fabric and then just lots of different stitching. So let's get started. We're going to start with wash away thread in the needle and our embroiderer's felt on the bottom. And we're going to stitch colorway one, which is going to show us exactly where to place um, or exactly the outline of the block. And what that is going to do is it's going to allow us to then come through and trim with our very sharp scissors around the edge. We need to do this so that we do not leave any excess fabric in our seams. It's going to make for a much better um, quilt at the end if you take the time to do this correctly. So we'll come through and we'll trim that away. And then we're going to take our main block fabric, lay it on top of the embroiderer's felt, and with our um, wash away thread still in the needle, I'm going to stitch colorway two, which is going to hold that down. What I love about the wash away thread is it is actually quite stiff and yet at the same time it allows us, um, it, it works quite well and really does hold securely. And now that colorway two is held down, I'm going to load up my um, pink, my deep pink colored thread in the machine and I'm going to stitch out colorway three which is going to show exactly where I'm going to place my applique fabric. And you'll see there's just two small sections of applique on this and I'm using my dark teal fabric. Don't worry about the fact that at the moment I'm stitching that with my um, deep pink thread. All will become um, understood as we go on. So that was colorway four. I'm now going to come down and I want to trim using my really sharp squeezy scissors, which of course we sell. I want to trim around that block as close as possible. One of the um, mistakes that people make with embroidery is they either trim um, not close enough, so little bits of fabric end up on the outside, or their tension is too tight, which make, which leaves the thread not covering. I'm now going to come through and stitch out colorway five, which is going to show us our second applique object. And again, using my dark teal. Even though this is quite a large block, it's actually one of the quickest blocks that we have in the collection. And that was colorway six. And again, I'm going to come through and trim away that excess. I like the curved point on the squeezy scissors. They really do just make it beautiful for trimming away. Okay, and now I can come through and stitch colorway six, which is going to do the decorative stitching in the dark pink, sorry, colorway seven, I mean, in the dark pink on top of that applique. And it just adds that little bit more texture into our project. Once we've finished with that colour, I'm going to come through and change over to my medium teal thread. 
and I now want to stitch up colorway 8 and colorway 8 is going to satin stitch around both of our applique objects. What you'll notice with this quilt is the applique stitch that I create is a satin stitch that not only firmly covers the design but it also allows for um, it, it finishes off with a triple stitch on either side which just gives a really beautiful finish to the design. If you do find that your applique is having difficulty covering your fabrics, generally that is a tension issue. The other thing that I ask people not to do is to resize these designs simply because with applique, as soon as you start resizing, naturally dependent on the software that you have, but I cannot guarantee what is going to happen with the designs. Designs of course come in five sizes. They come in five, six, seven, eight, and nine inches square. And you can see here, we're just finishing the satin stitch around this first block. Now, do not worry about the speed that I'm stitching at. In the real world, I am stitching at about five or 600 stitches per minute. But what we find is that um, if I ask you to watch the entire 45 minute um, stitching, it's kind of boring for you. So we've just sped it up. Okay, and here is our triple stitching around our object. And then we're going to come through and it's going to do the stitching on the second object. Now, some of the questions that I've had regarding this quilt collection. Um, one of the best ones is, um, do I have to use embroiderer's belt? No, you don't. Um, some things that different people have used is batalizer. And that is absolutely fine. You can add that in. And I like to add it in at the first stage so that you are actually stitching um, all of the applique on top of that. But that is totally up to you. Um, when it comes to threads, I have used polyester embroidery thread. And the reason I've done that is because it's my thread of choice and it works best over a wide range of my machines. It's just stronger and more colour fast. Okay, so we're almost finished the satin around this object and then of course it is going to come through and do the um, triple stitching around that as well. And here we are now. almost finished. When it comes to colours, choose any colours that work for you. Um, I'm loving as people are creating this block and sending me pictures, seeing all of the different um, colours that people are going for. And we've got one lady who is using the actual thought of the Moroccan tile themselves and how many of them are in different colours and is doing every block in different colours and it just looks stunning. Once we've finished with colourway 8 here, colourway 9 is going to come through and we're going to stitch this in our deep wine colour or my purple colour and it is going to add a little bit more detail onto the applique object here. Now, as you can see here, Notice how there's that little bit of puckering around the block. I'm not worried about that because it's all going to be caught in as we do the um, as we do the quilting. But it's worth noting because what it does is it sucks the fabric in, and it's the reason that we use the wash away thread when we are basting down this block. And once we finish the um, stitching on top of that applique object. We're going to come down. That's going to do one more set of stitching. 
And I love this block because of its openness. I think it's got a real freshness. Um, and it just counterpoints then some of the other um, very heavy blocks that are on the quilt. And it all goes together to make one cohesive um, quilt. So I'm now going to change to my deep teal colour. And the final stitching on the block is going to be colourway 10, which is um, oh, almost sort of a swirly leaf um, right around the block. Now I'm stitching this with a very open weave um, fill. And once again, I'm doing it to add texture. I don't want things that are flat. I want my quilt to have different points of interest at different points um, around and on the quilt. So you can see this one here, whilst we're using a quite a dark colour, the stitching in it itself is quite open um, so that it doesn't make it too, too much. And what you'll notice on this is as well as that decorative um, fill, we then come around it with a triple stitch which just then completes the block and leaves it looking very structured and finished. So there are two of these leafy swirls. This is the first one. And then we're going to come in and put one on the other side as well. Murphy's Law says, thread trims are only going to happen, of course, when the camera is on. Now, at this stage, while we're stitching, it's the perfect time to prep your backing fabric and your wadding. I've used polyester wadding because it is what I had in the house. If you don't have that, that is absolutely fine. Um, use whatever wadding and or backing fabric you wish. The other question that I get quite often is, do I have to do the quilting? And the answer is not at all. Um, I did do these as a quilt as you go collection, but if you want to just do the blocks, what you would do in this particular blocks case is stop the stitching after colorway 10 and then you can just join it and quilt it however you wish. And once again we're coming around to that outside stitching. And it really does just frame it beautifully. And again, I love the fact that there's not a satin stitch, so it's not too, too wide on that as well. Okay, and that's all the main stitching done for the block. So now I'm going to come back through and I want to change to my wash away thread. I'm going to remove the hoop from the machine and I'm going to take a piece of my wadding and you can see here I've actually used um, two scraps of wadding and just taped them together and then I want to stitch colorway 11 with the wash away thread on top which is going to hold down that wadding and now we've removed the hoop from the machine And we're going to trim around with again those larger scissors because little tiny ones um, will just are not large enough to go through the, that wadding. Lay our fabric backing on the back and it's colorway 12 to hold the backing down. Now what you're going to notice here is those two lines that we've just stitched there, so lines 11 and 12, are a little bit further out than the ones that we initially stitched.
That's because the embroidery has sucked that in. I'm now going to change to my quilting thread, which for me is a white polyester embroidery thread. And Colourway 13 is going to stitch my quilting. And the quilting that I've used on this block is a leaf quilting design. One of the things that I like about it is the, um, the openness of it. And remember with all of these blocks, not only do you get the custom quilting, you get the quilting as a single block itself, and you also get the quilting as continuous quilting as well. So for one block, you're getting five sizes of three different designs. And here we are, you can see the quilting goes around our object, so it is absolutely custom quilted. And is just going to make that design pop. I really do love watching the quilting going around. I think there's there's just something very zen about watching the machine work. See it's getting into all those little nooks and crannies. And the leaf pattern is quite an echoey pattern. It's quite a beautiful little pattern within itself. Let's have a look at our finished product. So you can see here I've got the four blocks joined together. Now you can go through and watch the video on joining the blocks that we have both on our website and on YouTube. Um, I like this block, I think it just has a very almost Art Deco-esque feel to it um, and it is stunning in its simplicity. I hope you've enjoyed watching this quilt block with me. I hope you've been inspired to perhaps create your own. As always, you can contact us at sales at Julie Hall Designs. And until next time, have a stitching day. Bye.